Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm down at Storage Yard. I've come down to do a couple of little jobs. Uh, my first job is t for security for the motorhome. So if you want to see what I'm going to do, please carry on and watch this video. And we'll see you later on in the video. Uh, I got them off eBay. I can't remember how much they cost now. I think they're about £28 including postage. And they're made to fit behind the uh, driver's door handle. You have, to, you have to strip all the door down to get it on. That goes on the outside. And that goes on the inside. It's to stop people putting something up behind the rubber seal and then they can act actually unlock your motorhome without a key. So this covers the actual uh, area where they can get into. But what we'll do is we'll come, uh, we'll show you later on when we've got it uh, fitted. But uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you what I need to do to uh, strip down the door. Right, so it's called the Cab Door Pro Plate. And it comes with full fitting instructions as well. I uh, had to buy myself some trim tools as well, but unfortunately they're not the best trim tools. So what you've got to do is take out that, which is for your windows. Inside there, there's a cover you take off there. Take off this cover up here, but what you need to do is make sure you take your Remy's blind off. You have to take all this cover off. And your speaker, speaker grill as well, you've got to disconnect that as well. So what I'll do is I'll get on with that and I'll show you what I've done. And inside here you've got torque, torque bolts that you have to undo all the way around, including that there. So I had to buy some torque head fittings. Right, so I've got the uh, door pocket off. I've taken out the speaker, taken those screws out of there, there. There's a couple of uh, Phillips head screws in there. You have to take three Phillips screws out of there. Disconnect your uh, speaker. I just got to try and get that out now. Which is not easy. But I'll persevere. Right, so I've got the uh, window uh, mechanism switches out. In the mirrors. So I just need to get that last uh, bolt in there I think and everything should come off. Right so that's uh, all stripped down just need to take that trim off now and I'll be able to get to the door handle. Just have to let that hand hang down by the looks of it. Right, so I've got all the door panel off now. It's just left back, left these in, so I have to take all them out and put them back in these little slots around the edge. And then I have to cut, cut that area there to be able to gain access to the uh, inside of the handle. So we'll do that next. Right, so that's a pig of a job, that one. I have to go home and get a long reach socket. It only just fits through all though. Very tall off anyway now. So you have to disconnect that and also that rod there, that's your, your locking mechanism locking mechanism. There. And that's your uh, to open your door with. Right. Let's have a look at the uh, plate now then. So that's uh, the door handle off. Let's try and fit the plate now. Right, so we'll just check see whether it fits all right after all that work, and it does. Right, 
Right, we'll put it back together. A few more swear words will be coming out as well, I can tell you. Right, we'll see you in a bit once I've got this door handle back on. Right, so what I'm going to do as well is run a bead of silicon just around the outside, very thin sliver, just so it seals everything. Because that sits on your uh, rubber sealy door handle. So you want to seal between your door and this plate. So I'll do that. Right, so that's the door plate on. Just stop somebody pushing some up in between there. Fits nicely. And you've only got that little area to work in there, so there's been a few little swear words, but and a few scrape nuttles. But it's done now. Right, so uh, that's the door all back together now. I just got, uh, I just couldn't get those plastic uh, bungs out. Hopefully that should be all right. It's not really secure, but we'll see how we go. I tried getting them out and I broke one. So that's the uh, door plate and everything. All fitted on. That's an extra bit of security. So if you do it, that's a very awkward thing to get to. You need a long reach 10mm socket thin headed one to get into those uh, handle bolts. I'm just not happy about that because I tried pulling them out but I broke one so I couldn't really pull them out. But we'll see how we go. Right so that's the end of this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. At least I uh, didn't film while I was doing a bit of swearing and taking my knuckles off etc. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit of a fiddly job that I've done it. It's not much of a how-to, it's just showing you what I've done to uh, hopefully put a bit more security up my home. Uh, so if you like this little video, don't forget, give it that little thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And click that notification bell, it'll notify you when I upload some more videos. I've got quite a few to do. So what we'll do is we'll say goodbye now and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.